Hi, I'm Kathy McBreen, president of Millionaire Corner, and we're here talking to George Walper, the president of Spectrum Group, regarding some really interesting research they just conducted. Hi, George. Welcome to Millionaire Corner. Thanks. Can you talk a little bit about why you conducted this research? And the research is about investment risk tolerance with high net worth investors. So tell us a little bit about the why you conducted this research. Well, we found over the last five years, after the economic crisis and, the re and then now the recession, that investors significantly changed their attitude towards investment risk. But how they in describe investment risk, we've always felt, was not necessarily consistent with how their advisors or the financial services industry describe risk. So we thought we would ask them. We conducted research uh, late in the year, as well as focus groups in Chicago and New York with investors to get a sense for how they're feeling about investment risk. Great. So you said that most people or most professionals don't understand how investors define their investment risk tolerance. Can you tell me how do investors define their risk tolerance? Sure. I mean, typically people would say, well, I'm a conservative investor or I'm an aggressive investor. And the investment professional would hear the word aggressive investor and they would put together investment portfolios or recommendations that would be a little bit towards the risky orientation, meaning more risk, higher return. When in fact, when you actually looked at how that investor's portfolio was constructed, they really wanted a moderate type of portfolio. Hmm. And the same thing with conservatives. Someone would say that they were moderate. In reality, you would look at their portfolio and it was very conservative, but yet the advisor assumes they want to take more risk. So George, how do most investors define their risk tolerance? Most investors nowadays will describe themselves as moderate. Okay, does that vary by age or gender or, or wealth level? Well, there is some variance, but what's not what you would typically think. Um, we do find that women are a little bit more conservative than men. But the real definition or the real driver is what their attitude towards things such as the economy and when will the economy fully recover. So someone who says the economy is still challenged or is still going to have challenges in the next two years is actually a very conservative investor. So does risk tolerance make a difference by age or gender or wealth level? Well, it makes somewhat of a difference by gender. Women are more conservative than men. Um, somewhat by age, but you would assume that retirees would be very conservative, and they are the most conservative, but it is not the largest driver. And wealth level? Uh, wealth level, again, you would think that the wealthier folks would be the most uh, risk-oriented, but the most conservative right now are millionaires, and some of the mass affluent are much more risk-oriented, which means they want to take risk with their investments. Interesting. Um, what do you think was the most important finding in the research? The most important factor we found is that even though somewhat describes themselves as moderate or conservative, when we look at their portfolios, their asset allocation, they're actually quite similar. So that, that is not necessarily a good assessment for how to understand someone's risk tolerance. So what factors make the biggest difference in defining their risk tolerance? The biggest difference is how they would describe their preference to protect their principal versus grow their assets. So someone who says they'd much rather protect their principal, they might say they're a moderate investor. When you look at their portfolio, it's clearly conservative. Hmm. Um, how do personality traits impact their investment risk tolerance? Personality traits actually are a pretty significant driver of someone's risk tolerance. So for instance, the old glasses empty, glasses have full is one of the classic uh, abilities for someone to describe how they're investing. Someone that says it's half empty is probably going to be a far more conservative investor because they're concerned about the future. What about investment time horizon? How important is that? Time horizon is very important. And again, it's not the most intuitive answer in terms of how people think. It's really important that, that one understands the time horizon of an investor. For someone who says their time horizon is two years or less, well, they're very conservative and one has to respond to them in a conservative manner. And again, it isn't age, it's more about their time horizon, something in their life, when their kids are going to college. Do investors plan on changing their asset allocation this year? We will see a switch this year in asset allocation, especially given the market being at an all-time record high in the last month or so. That will drive people to do two things. The old, this is a good time to purchase, but perhaps it's also a good time to sell. What should financial advisors keep in mind as they talk to investors? Financial advisors really need to understand that investors use words differently than they do. And they really need to get to know their client and ask some of these other questions which are not investment related questions but just about their life are they thinking about protecting their principal 
what are their personality traits, things like would you rather take a job with a lot of risk or one that has a fairly assurance and conservative outlook in terms of remaining a stable job? Those are important factors. Thank you so much for your insights into this research. If you would like more information, please feel free to check out MillionaireCorner.com or go to Spectrum.com for more information directly about the report. This is Kathy McBreen from MillionaireCorner.com. Thanks for watching.